Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Like I said, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're just joining us, my name is Trinity Yenebom Udwa. And in today's video, I'll be telling you everything that you need to know about relocating to just or about coming to visit just or about coming to spend some time. Okay, Before just. then, please do one thing for me you see that red subscribe button there please just hit the subscribe button and turn on post notification please it's not going to take you less than one second it's not it's not going to take you up to a second it's just less than a second have you done it yeah i'm sure you have so let's proceed with the video uh, well we know that this is a time where nigerian graduates i mean i think nyc has already started recruiting some people have already gone to camp too or have started going to camp some people have received call-up letters some people have been posted and all that so if you're one of those people that have been posted to just and then you want to um you want to try you don't want to redeploy you just want to okay let me see how living in just to be like well then this video is for you and if you're also thinking of moving down here maybe you've been transferred at where you work or you're coming here to look for job opportunities well this video before is moving to anywhere before relocating anywhere i usually tell people something i say keep an open mind i know you've heard a lot of gruesome scary stories about joss i mean i've lived in joss i've seen scary things too but it's not always like that so first thing you need to do before saying okay i want to come and serve here i want to come and look for a job here or i'm actually going to take up that transfer letter is that you have to come here with an open mind by the time you come here with a mind clouded with negativity from stories that you've heard or from things that you've seen on tv well you might just get discouraged at the first barrier you see and we don't want that now do we so please before coming down here please have an open mind have an open mind a mind that okay you want to make this work you want to make living in just work you want to make visiting just work you want to make serving in just work all right now the first thing i mean talking about is the security in Plata State. Well, the security in Plata State honestly is relatively okay compared to other northern states. Yes, really, it is relatively okay. We don't have frequent stories of banditry, kidnapping, shooting in broad daylight. No, we do not have that. So I can tell you that if you're coming here, well, we all know that we have to be security conscious in the Nigeria of today. But aside that, apart from basic security consciousness and other security consciousness <laughs> plateau state is relatively okay. now the next thing you need to know is plateau state is not an islamic state no it is not an islamic state and it does not have monopoly of language a lot of people feel like okay how do you cope how did you cope in plateau state do you hear the language do they speak english jesus that was one of the questions i saw and i'm like are you for real of course we speak english we have very 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 good good secondary schools here that i'm surprised why you ask if plaza state people speak english of course we speak english and definitely it is not an islamic state it is a state it's just like lagos or any other nigerian state where everybody where you find everybody from muslims to christians to pagans yes and if you're actually doubting me maybe you should come here on a sunday and then you look out for churches churches actually block roads i mean sometimes main roads if the church is located on the road so they don't have cars driving in front of the churches disturbing service with car horns and all that yes that is it plastic state is not an islamic state and it does not have monopoly of languages you have you find basically every language that you can find in plateau in nigeria they are here in plateau state the next thing when considering coming to plateau state is you have to know about the weather and i'm here to tell you that plateau state weather is plateau state weather is chilled plateau state weather is chilled it's not so hot and it's very cold Mm. it's not so hot and it's very cold now there are times when it during the heat season like this now you can bear with the heat compared to the south i'm doing my comparison now with that of the south i can beat my chest and tell you that plastic state is not i'm not sure it can ever be as hot as the south is no the weather it, it does get hot but it's bearable i mean bearable that you can still wear a long sleeve out in just and not sweat but it's hot yes and then it gets really dry too during the hammer time 
it gets really tried and cold really cold now i'm not talking hoodie long sleeve you know all those fancy stuffs i'm talking trench coats kind of cold trench coat kind of cold like it gets really cold there is no resident of plastic state i mean there's nobody that stays in plastic state or that has stayed in plastic state for over a year or more than a year that does not have a trench coat collection even if it's just two yes and that is me being honest it gets really cold that's why during that time of the year we have a lot of white people we have a lot of foreigners that come here to tourist attractions for jobs i know that i know companies that schedule their foreign visits their foreign visit towards the start towards that time of the year because the foreigners will be able to cope with the cold um another serious thing i'll be talking about is um job opportunities if you're coming here to in search of greener pastures well i don't know i really don't know because plateau state is not really like an industrial state where you have a lot of industries and all that i think i can like count i mean i can name the companies that we have in plateau state we have grand Sears, we have swan water we have nigerian breweries we have nasco yeah those are like the four companies that are like in just so if you're coming here in search of greener pastures ah, i'll just tell you that honestly the lord will be your strength the Lord will be your strength. The Lord will be your strength. Except you're being transferred here. Maybe you're working in a bank and then you're being transferred here to come and okay, continue your work here and all that. But if you're coming here in such a greener pastures, mm -mm, I don't know. I'm just going to be honest that the Lord is going to be your strength. Or except you're an entrepreneur, yes, I think you can thrive in Plateau State because Plateau State is quite an entrepreneurial state. I mean, everybody everybody in plateau state basically almost everybody has a business that they are doing and it moves well business moves well in plateau state buying and selling actually does move well in plateau state and then another thing you should know is that if you're looking to go into agriculture plateau state is the place for you if you're looking to go into agriculture plateau state is the place for you it's the land is very fertile and almost anything grows here almost anything from three crops to vegetable to fruits almost anything i mean anything almost anything grows here so if you're looking to invest in agriculture plateau state is definitely i'm getting to the interesting part now i mean talking about the way of life of plateau state <laughs> way of life of plateau state <laughs> the way of life in Plateau State is very different from the north, from the west and from the south. If you're coming from there, you might have a culture shock. You will definitely have a culture shock. Now, when I mean way of life, we're starting with nightlife. If you're the type that likes to do um, girls hangout, or club stuff, bar stuff, it's practically non-existent in Plateau State. Practically non-existent. In Plateau State, mm. nightlife does not exist. By the time it's eight, nine, ten, everywhere is locked. Everywhere is closed. Like you do not. I'm not trying to scare you, but Plateau State does not have a nightlife. Mm. It doesn't have a nightlife. Now, and another thing about the way of life is Plateau State is not as appreciative of skimpy dressings like the South or the North is yes even university of just will not allow you as a lady enter into the school if you're wearing an off shoulder top off shoulder or not sleeveless so off shoulder you are not walking into that gate or walking into the premises through the gate Abi, uh, you are not walking into the premises through the gates except you're driving in mm, Abi, uh, stop that driving in <laughs> yes it is not as appreciative of skimpy dresses as it is and or not so if you're coming here as a lady and you're used to short stuffs like me if you like short stuff like me you might need to do an overhaul of your wardrobe i mean a total change of your wardrobe you're gonna get those long sleeves those short sleeves those um those button ups those jeans mm. and another thing in the way of life and this is for content creators who feel like okay um I'm not sure Plastic State has places that I can go and, you know, maybe create content, vlog about. That's a lie. 
that's the life plateau state has recreational spaces has aesthetic spaces that you can vlog about that you can where you can do your videos or take photography or whatever yes i'm just going to tell you that plateau state does have recreational and aesthetic spaces it's just that you just don't have nightlife so whatever you're going to be doing whatever content you feel you're going to be creating has to be around the daytime i think that's like the only limitation you have yeah that's like the only limitation you have another thing i'm going to be talking about very very important is the cost of living cost of living in plateau states is way better way better read my lips way better than staying in that of the north than that of the north mm. i've been that of the south to jehovah that of the south what am i saying <laughs> yes why i'm making my comparisons with the south is because i i school in the south i've been i i school in the south south is like my second home so i can tell you with my full chest like not like my full chest not like my With my chest, that <laughs> plateau state cost of living in plateau state is way affordable. Not like the like everything will be like very cheap. I'm just saying that it's way affordable. When I mean way affordable, I mean from rent, from house rent, to feeding, to cost of education, to cost of transportation, and prices of goods and services. Yes, plateau state is way better way better and way affordable than that of the south so don't worry if you're relocating here if you're visiting here trust me you're not going to break the bank mm -mm. you're not your pocket is not going to tear so like i hope i've been able to um touch places i've been able to answer some of the hidden questions that you have down in your chest your fears i've been able to allay your fears that living in just is pretty much chilled it's not as bad as you think it is and there'll be ups and down yeah there'll be ups and down but trust me living in just it's it's chilled it's chilled if you have any other question if you have any other question from some, some other segments that you feel i have not talked about in this video please feel free to dm me on instagram yeah definitely i'm yeah just dm me on instagram ask your questions and i'll be so glad to answer them i could even be your tour guide you know if you're coming and i'm around if you're coming and i'm around come here <laughs> well that brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching thank you for watching thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video thank you